So, hello and welcome to the next episode of the Self-Development with Tactics podcast. And today, as you can see, we're going to discuss um, the next part of the book How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. This is the third time I'm making this intro. But, nevertheless, um, uh, the last time we stopped at be sympathetic with the other person's ideas and desires. And today we start with a really, 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 really great one because um, you should appeal to the nobler motives. And what this means is um, that you, for example, say, um, um, I, I know the story a little bit. It was about a a guy who um, wanted to sell cars and he went to a guy who wanted a car obviously and then he said yes here's your contract um, to buy to buy this car and um, I know that you are a, a really great person and you are um, you know you're quite quite thoughtful and you are, um, let's say, noble, and you are um, a lot of good things. So you basically um, tell them what they are, and then he is like, oh yeah, I am good, and so I will buy this car because I'm a good person. It was a really bad example, I'm sorry for that. But... Um, As you can see, <laughs> um, or for example, if you um, tell somebody, so if, if you wanted, let's say, a cup of tea, if you want somebody to make you a cup of tea, um, then you'd be like, oh, um, can I have a, a cup of coffee, a cup of tea? Then he says, oh, I, I do not have the time right now. And then you answer, oh, um, I thought you would be a nice guy or a nice person. You know, this is the nobler or higher motive. He is a nice person or he is um, this and that. He's just some uh, a, a good person in general. And so you, you don't attack in a... Uh, marks uh, his personality but you give him something he doesn't actually or maybe doesn't actually have and so he thinks that she she or he has to accomplish what you said he was and then he's like oh yeah I get you one I'm sorry and so on and so on you know but that is something as I said in the last episode that a lot of people use and most of the people most of the people don't really know um, that there is a real expression for this, um, let's say, technique. Um, the 11th point, I don't really remember what this was about, uh, dramatize your um, ideas. Dramatize your ideas. I can't say anything about that, but maybe you get something out of this. But um, from 12th one, I know the story quite exactly and throw down a challenge and there was a guy uh, he had a factory or it was a company but I think it was a factory yes and at the end of the day he went to a group of of people it was the, the day shift I guess it's the day shift and the night shift as I remember correctly, and if these are the right words. Um, so the people that work um, the day, and the people that work at the night. And so after the, um, the night people finished, he went up to them and said, or, or the day people, but it doesn't matter. And he said, um, how many of the, let's say for now, computers did you manufacture today? Because maybe they're handcrafted or something. And then they say, um, we made five today and so he um, 
took a piece of chalk and wrote on the bottom or on the ground a big five. And the next day when the, the day workers came in, they asked what this five was. And um, so the, the boss, the company leader said, um, that's the amount of, of TVs the night shift um, manufactured. And through this, he made a challenge, a competition, you know, and, um, you know, people just want to be the best. Even if it's a factory worker, uh, let's say a, a, thing, a, a street cleaner, or what it is called, you know, every person likes challenges. And I'm not really, um, you know, talking bad about these types of jobs. They are really, um, you know, really, really grateful for them to, to be existent. Um, but you get what I mean. Just, just make a challenge, and people will, you know. Take on the challenge. And we came to the next section. Be a leader, how to change people without giving offense or arousing resentment. This um, is a really quick thing that people get offended and arouse resentment, as you might know by yourself. But the first one is here. Begin with praise and honest appreciation. It's also something we had in techniques in handling people. Um, give honest and sincere appreciation. And therefore, if you, for example, uh, want somebody to, to correct something or do something different in their work, um, Begin by praising and um, internal appreciation. And if you're like, yeah, um, I see you did this great and that great. Um, and I would suggest you to, to make this differently. Um, the thing is, don't use but. Because everybody knows that there's the break in the appreciation. And then, then comes the, back, uh, the, the, the bad part. And so just say this and that is good and suggest somebody or advise somebody or something, but don't use but. And then you talk about the negative stuff. That's all about it. And I hope this was the right one, but it is in this book. But maybe it, it was the wrong phrase to what I meant. Anyways, call attention to people's mistakes indirectly. Um, people in general don't want um, to to get their mistakes really, you know, praised and, you know, you made that wrong and that wrong. Nobody likes that. It's really, you know, really nobody likes that. Um, but I honestly have to think about this because I don't really remember. Call attention to people's mistakes indirectly I don't know but it was important it was important I hope that I read it again but let's take the third one talk about your own mistakes before criticizing the other person um, the fun thing is criticizing may be the wrong word because he said don't criticize uh, on the beginning of the book don't criticize and condemn or complain, which I talked about two episodes before that. So the when this is the first, then the third episode. You know what I mean? But, um, you know, people really like it to see that you made a mistake as well. So um, if you like, let's take the factory again with the... Um, uh, TVs, when you go up to somebody who, um, you know, made something wrong, you just go to them and say, you know, I made it wrong all the time myself. And, um, oh, I exactly know the story. This was a great story. This is really a great story. Um, 
there was a boss and he had a secretary and the secretary spelled a lot of words wrong and so he went up to the secretary and said you know um i really misspelled all these these words myself and therefore i made myself a little book where i have all these words i frequently uh, misspell and then i can can look it up really quickly and then he said uh something like it would be nice if you just um maybe consider this or um you know co correct the 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 wrong words and try to to you know to don't misspell everything and then she really sympathized with him and he or she uh you know he made her her book i think so the boss wasn't really sure but he thought because she didn't misspell anything from that point on and uh, yeah ask questions instead of giving direct ors this is a really quick one but a really great one um if you want somebody to to make you a cup of coffee or tea um ask them hey could you make me a cup of a cup of coffee or a cup of tea and not like make me a cup of coffee or um make make the computer software a little bit better make um this design better could you please make this design a little bit better could you please improve that could you please um you know eat something different could you please it's just um way nicer than just you know um giving orders to somebody let the other person save face this was an expression i never heard in my entire life before I, I was reading this book but it basically means that you shouldn't um you know shouldn't play with person's feelings and you should be um really thoughtful about what you say and you really have to be um secure and you really have to be um precise by saying uh by by saying what you are saying so the insight of this is or the the summary of this is don't hurt other people's feeling or try to and never use you know words that you might exactly know will and so don't do it and the six here this one praise the slightest improvement and praise every improvement be hearty in your appropriation and lavish in your praise um in the book there was an example um on babies or of babies and you know if you have a baby you just really praise everything they make if they make the first step you praise it and really you know appreciate it and just tell them and give them cookies or something to eat or just clap in your hands or some some shit like this you know and but the funny thing is that um most people wouldn't consider it when um adult people do uh something good or improve or um improved slightly so if you see somebody improving in something even though you might not um really know him uh, maybe in class or something just go up to him and really praise him because um criticism don't work praise the good parts of a peep uh, of a person but do not criticize him for something else it just um you know brings him into a position or uh yeah let's say brings it's it's not right it brings him into a position um where he has to justify himself so just praise everything every single improvement every really slight improvement um, but hearty, not like oh yeah, you did this great. Oh, really? So oh, you did this great, man. This was great. Um, yes. You know, really mean it. Don't uh, talk about shit. Mean it. The seventh one, and we are already at fourteen minutes. The seventh one give the other person a fine reputation to live up to oh i don't know this one also i don't also know this one ah 
Um, it reminds me on the factory I, I um, you know, I talked about before. Um, so I tell it once again, give the other person a fine reputation to live up to. Maybe you can do something with it. Um, I unfortunately do not. Let's take the eighth. Um, use encouragement, make the fault seem easy to correct. Uh, yeah, um, it will uh, nothing make better if you just be like, oh, you did a mistake, um, you will never be able to correct this one, and just be like, oh yeah, that's that's easy. We will make this. You know, um, because most of the time, you know, the, the failures aren't that that bad um, as you might have, have thought they would be. <laughs> I don't know if this is right, the sentence. But, um, you know, just make situations worse than they are. Just be optimistic and, um, you know, I try to. I, you know... The funny thing is, I, I've read a lot of these books and I really am into it, but it's still hard for me to, um, to you know, take all these, these things and put it into my life, um, especially in terms of um, character and um, my flaws and something. Um, but trying is the best thing I can do. You know, trying different things. And you should also, I can really um, suggest it to you. Um, the ninth and the last one, and then there's, there are some uh, quotes which will be great. Make the other person happy by doing the thing you suggest. Make the other person happy about doing the thing you suggest. Why do, don't I <laughs> know anything about the last ones? Um, make the other person happy about doing the thing you suggest. I really don't know. I'm really sorry. But let's move on to the quotations. And nevertheless, you get the first one was the most valuable one for me in the last you you have to listen to the last episode. I think this it was nineteen minutes around that, and there was pure value. You know, I I try to give value all the time. Sometimes it works better, and sometimes it works not as good. Um, but in terms of feelings, and by uh, you know this one, uh, let the other person say face. There's a quotation there on dealing with people. Um, when dealing with people, let us remember we are not dealing with creatures of logic. We are dealing with creatures of emotion, creatures, creatures bristling with pre prejudices, prejudice and motivated by pride and vanity. And this word I can't uh, pronounce is P-R-E-J-U-D-I-C-E-S. And on influence, the only way on earth to influence other people is to talk about what they want and show them how to get it. That's really the truth. Don't talk about you and what you would like to have. Talk about the other person. It will make everything easier and you will understand a lot of things. Um, also in terms of marketing, it just you know, lit up a light for me. On the secret of success, if there is one... If, if there is <laughs> any one secret of success, it lies in the ability to get the other person's point of view and see things from the person's angle as well as from your own. Um, also in terms of marketing or selling products, if you exactly know that these types of people or this group of people um, need this or that, you know, you just really have a great ability if you can do this because you know exactly who wants this and who wants that and so you can basically sell a lot of things if you wanted to 
but we are on the bottom of this article, seems like. There is he, Dale Carnegie. And I think he spent 25 years, as I remember correctly, if I remember correctly, um, on this book, which is pretty amazing. But anyways, I really thank you for listening to this podcast again. I hope you got something out of it. Um, if you have questions, if you have something to say, um, write it down in the comments. If you're on YouTube or um, on Instagram or on Twitter or on Facebook, Twitter at Self Tactics, Facebook Self Development with Tactics with this, you know, this little uh, line between each word, and uh, on Instagram Self Development underscore WT. Uh, thank you. Love you all. Let's change it up. Woo! <laughs>